Hello again everyone and welcome back to Skyblock News. I'm your host Aurelius and today we're going to be covering a bunch of new happenings on the Hypixel Alpha network. As well as that we're going to be going over some new stuff coming soon to the main server and also we're going to be covering a new job application posted on the Hypixel website. Before we get into this though, I just want to say we're getting fairly close to 65k, so if you could hit that like button and subscribe down below, that really would mean a lot. Also, if you're interested in Skyblock news in general, Cold Pug is an excellent YouTuber who's getting fairly close to 30k. He wants to hit 30k by April 14th, so if you can go subscribe to him, that would be really cool. Without any further ado though, let's launch right into this. Starting off today on the Alpha Network, there were a few things that people noticed after my previous video. Notably, that the Pendant of Devon now has a tiered bonus associated with it. This bonus is called Legacy, and it requires four total items to max out. It grants you Pristine when inside the Glacite Mineshafts. What I can only really assume here, and what you should probably assume, is that we're getting a full set of Devon equipment, which is pretty nice. To further clarify here, if you do slash wiki Devon Bracelet, Devon Belt, and Devon Cloak, there are all things listed for found items. To note that you can't do other random items and get a result, let's do Devon Gloves for example, and you can see it says item ID is invalid and you can't actually find anything. If you do slash wiki Vanguard Helmet, for example, you will also find a found item. I don't know if this means that the Vanguard armor is going to be an actual set, and for those who don't know, you can find the Vanguard armor on a like frozen corpse within the Glacite mineshafts, but I don't know if this is actually going to turn out to be a real set, or if this is just like the wiki page for the item on the mobs. If I had to guess though, it probably will become a full set of armor, at the very least a side grade and probably an upgrade to Devon armor. However, in terms of an upgrade to like the Devon drill, I don't think we're going to see anything like that. I think the Devon drill is going to remain the best drill in the game for obvious reasons. Next up, heading to the main server, the city project for community center refurbishment is actually fairly close to being completed at 91.2%. This is fairly interesting as this project seemed like it was going to take a while originally, but it has slowly been getting done, and now we're at a point where it's pretty f close to completion overall. We're going to need a total of 400,000 contributions in order to finish it. I've only made 20, I personally have been slacking, but I will probably start contributing again after this video goes out. I will say I'm fairly excited to see what the community center refurbishment includes. Obviously we know there's going to be some sort of minister system, and I wouldn't be that shocked that when this ends up finishing up, we're going to see the update be put on alpha first and then released to the public, so I'm really looking forward to that. Next up, I want to talk about something pretty interesting that my friend Icy sent me on Discord, and if you don't know who Icy is, he's the person who makes the alpha spreadsheet information lists, which basically show all the items on alpha. His stuff is a big boon to channels like mine, so I really appreciate you and thank you for sending me this information. This is basically a social media coordinator role on the Hypixel network, which is really nice. If I had to guess, this is probably going to be for making trailers or things of that nature, and also feedback and reaching out with the community. But it could also mean that we're going to be getting some more information about future updates from a social media perspective. Obviously, this is someone who can curate, edit, publish, and share engaging content on different platforms, the ability to communicate with followers and monitor engagement, with a great understanding of Hypixel Minecraft and general gaming culture, and also the ability to work independently as well as effectively in a collaborative team environment. This very much is a normal role at most companies, there are generally social media coordinators, but the fact that we're getting something like this is going to be really nice. I hope they hire someone great at the role because communication and feedback from the community going to the team is always a great thing. Something like a social media coordinator is very necessary for a live service game, and I hope whoever fills that role does a great job. I myself would potentially apply if I wasn't in my third year of college. Um, there's no real point for me to apply to a role like this right now because Obviously, I'm going to be back at school next year, but if you're someone who's a marketing major or things of that nature, this is definitely something you should keep an eye out or potentially apply for. Overall, the last week has been pretty hype in terms of the amount of news that we've gotten and information that we've received about updates and things of that nature. 
I'm happy that they're working on the Glacite Tunnels update. It looks really cool. The improvements and new items are always going to be great. We're going to see a lot more of that when it comes to the Mayor update that's coming soon as well. And tying that all together with a new social media coordinator position is very nice to see. Things seem to be moving in the right direction for Hypixel and I hope that continues because honestly all we want is the game to succeed and succeed it shall if it gets updates and improvements in this manner. At the end of the day though, thank you so much for watching this video till the end and look to the future fellas, I'll see you then.